All right, guys, welcome to our tip 58. And today what we're going to be talking about is how to make Word files through R and specifically how to automate them with this package called Office Down. So we're actually seeing a Word document that has been generated from R and it comes complete with um, titles, headings, uh, a table of contents, a uh, table of figures. Uh, it's got this figure that was generated through R. It's got links to the figures. I mean, this thing, this is a legit good Word document, like a, like a report or something that you would give to your boss and impress them, right? Um, and all of this stuff was generated with R. So this is cool. Um, and you can't see any of the code behind it. It, it kind of hides that from the executives, which is good for them. So let's see how to, uh, how to do this. Okay. So, um, first what I'm going to do, I'm going to close out of some files here. Um, we'll get over to the free R tips. Um, if you haven't joined uh, free R tips yet, uh, make sure to install the GitHub repo, uh, join the newsletter, install the GitHub repo. There's a link in the video comments. Uh, we're going to be working out of 058. Uh, MS Word reports. So you can see there's like 60 of these things already. Um, so we're going to be working out of 058. Um, this docx, that's the file that I have open here. Uh, right there it is. And I'm going to close out of it here for a second. Okay, so it gets rid of that. So I'm going to be working out of this R Markdown document. So I'm opening that. I'm going to open up the outline to it too. And this is a document that I produce in R. So if you're familiar with R and R Markdown, um, it looks exactly like that. So I can run these things called code chunks and it's going to uh, run the software that's going to produce, you know, all of the R packages and everything that are going to produce this report. Um, and what I would do is I would normally interactively build this thing. So the first thing I'm doing is creating some headers, um, some things like business science R tips. So where that comes into play is if I open this docx uh, document again, there it is. Click yes. Okay. Uh, this is the first header right here. Okay. So we can see business science, our tips. We got the uh, second header is the executive summary. Uh, then I say new page and that puts this on a new page. I'm putting the table of contents and a table of figures in here. Um, and then we get down to the figures and this is where I'm actually making our code that's going to produce things. So I've got a little bit of text right here. So this is important. I've got this figure right here. That's a reference here to this TS pot. So that comes up as figure one and it links to this figure one. Uh, and you've got your um, figure caption, my economics plot. And you can see here, this is the R code that I'm running. All right, so let's run this real quick. I'll show you what it does. Uh, it produces the plot here. Um, it's a time series plot. And this is that figure that goes into my Word document here. So that's getting produced. Um, same thing with the tables. I'm just putting a table in here and, uh, I'll run that. I'm just showing the first, uh, looks like six rows here. It's just the head of the economics table. And, uh, so any tables, if I go to my word document are going to show up like word tables. And this is pretty cool. Um, so the formatting looks really nice. Uh, and then we've got some learning more. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is how to run this thing. Um, all you do is you click the knit button. So you have the output set to office down our docx document and hit the knit button and interactively um, it'll render it and you can see it's going through all of the code running it and it opens up the Word document for you and creates that. If you'd like to learn more, um, first off, make sure you sign up for the R tips newsletter. That's uh, the link right here. Uh, it's in the Word document and then also uh, if you want to learn more about how to use R for business analysis and more specifically the 10 things, the secrets to becoming a data scientist, check this out. It's my free R masterclass, 40 minutes. It will change your life. It'll give you a complete roadmap. It'll give you three mistakes that all data scientists are making when they're trying to become data scientists. And I'll show you how to correct them. And it'll give you the 10 secrets, the 10 skills that I found most valuable in my career becoming a data scientist. So check that out too.